Streamlit. Again, a newer Python module that lets you make web-based user interfaces with pure Python. Now, since I discovered this, it's been my absolute go-to for spinning up simple Python websites, and it's extremely useful for data science and AI-related apps. So you can see here that I've imported Streamlit as ST, and I also just brought in pandas and numpy because it's very common to use these with Streamlit. I do some basic stuff, so I'm setting my page configuration. So this is the name of the page, for example. I can just add a title, I can add a size, Sidebar, I can show some kind of number inputs, and then I can have some buttons. So for example, there's a button here called generate. It's as easy as saying, okay, on the sidebar, I want to add a button. And let me show you how we run this code. So you can see what this 29 line file actually looks like. So if I open up my terminal here, I've already used UV. So I would have gone UV add and then streamlet, right? So it installed the package for me. Then I can run the command UV run streamlet run, and then the name of my Python file, so main.py. So whenever you're running with Streamlit, rather than doing, you know, Python and the name of the file, you do Streamlit run, and then the name of the file that you want to execute. And because I'm running this with UV, I just put UV before it, so it uses this Python virtual environment. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter. You're going to see that it spins this up now, so I'm just going to go full screen. It's just running localhost on my computer. Let's zoom in a little bit on the sidebar. Let's generate some data. And you can see that we get a graph that we can look at and we have a table that we can kind of scroll through and we can edit and look at these different values.